Good morning and welcome to the P Wad. Happy Thursday. Trash day. Is it trash day? <laughs> Did you put everything out? Yep. Well, praise the Lord. Thursday we have been day. up since the chickens and the roosters Always. have been up. Wake up at 5 a.m. Yeah. and it's hilarious. Did you know that one of our neighbors has got chickens, chickens. and yeah. roosters yeah, in their backyard? Yeah. I love it. You love the chickens and the roosters? Absolutely. Okay, as you're jumping on, go ahead and tell us hello, tell us good morning, what city, state, and many people have been watching from various countries. Go ahead and let us know where you're watching from so that way we can tell you hello and be praying for you, your region, your area, your families, your churches, etc. Amen. So good morning, Jim Pyle, hello. Um, we are having a very, very busy morning this today. As soon as we're done here. <coughs> As soon as we're done here, uh, we are going to Revival Chattanooga, Pastor's mm -hmm. Prayer Meeting. We do that once a week. Yep. We are gathering in Kingdom Community to see revival birth in our region, and not just for our region, but for your region as well. Yep. Um, for those of you that have been asking, um, we have multiple things that are coming up on the calendar and multiple surprises that are coming up on the calendar that are actually going to be exclusive information only to our partners. So if you are not a partner yet with Chris Brooks Ministries, go to our website, chrisbrooksministries.com. You can partner with this assignment. Um, for those of you who are a partner and you're an active partner, um, make sure that you go and check your emails. I sent it out last week. The RSVP details are due in about a week and a half. They're due the 28th, 29th of June, mm -hmm. so we can get all the information to our caterers. Yep. So we're super, super excited. Which we're talking to the caterer today. Yes, we have an appointment with the caterer today. So maybe they've got food we can taste. That'll be fun. Mm. I don't know. I want to, I still, in addition I know, to every this burger place, we want to go try it. Well, no, not just that, but those little, I want to get Publix, those little pedophores, mm. those little square. Um, cakes, mm. they're so good. Has anybody out there had a pedophore? They're the Satan cutest. in a square. No, they're not. I know the name's weird, but that's what they're called. It's a little mini cake. So as you're jumping on, go ahead and share this tag. This Chris is teaching a word this morning that not only is for you, but it's going to be for someone that you know. So inbox it, get the word out there. We titled this this morning, Let the Seed Do Its Job. So you're going to want to know this. Get your notepad out, get your Bible, and your coffee. All right. I've got mine. I've had enough. You've you had enough the, coffee? <laughs> if you're ready for the P-Wad, go ahead and tell me over here I'm ready for the P-Wad this morning. I'm ready to be equipped and yes. receive the word of the Lord. Um, as soon as you do that, why don't you go to Mark chapter 4, 26 through 29, New Living Translation. Share tag. Get this out there. Tag, 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 tag. Share, 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 share. Comment, comment, comment. And throw some... some Thumbs up, hearts, smiley faces, and everything over here. All right, Mark 4, 26 through 29, the New Living Translation says, Jesus also said, the kingdom of God is like, all right, here we go. He's fixing to tell us what the kingdom is like. For the kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, while he sleeps or awake, the seed sprouts and grows, but he does not understand how it happens. The earth produces the crops on its own. First, a leaf blade pushes through. Then the head of wheat are formed. And finally, the grain ripens. And as soon as the grain is ready, the farmer comes and harvests it with a sickle. For the harvest time has come. Okay. So, there are many different types of seed forms. But in, in the word, you have three seed forms that are spoken about the most. The word of God as being a seed, mm -hmm. uh, money as being a seed, and food, mm -hmm. whether it be natural or spiritual. So you have many other attributes to it, but pretty much three forms. Right, right. Okay, so you get the three forms, the word of God, uh, money, and food. So you have a farmer here, and the farmer's responsibility is to go sow seed, okay? Seed in itself is no good if seed is Does it get not planted? put in the ground. Seed has to be planted. Just because you have a bag yes. of seed does not mean you have anything. Just because you have, it's like, I got a bucket of seed over here. Well, big deal. If you don't start using that seed, that seed's mm -hmm. going to rot and it's yes. going to be of no good. So seed in itself. Hey, Rita. 
I'm trying to really explain this and get this over seed to of, everybody. Seed by itself is of no value. It's of no value. No value it, until it, it gets planted. It has the greatest amount of value mm -hmm. when it's used properly, but seed just sitting there does absolutely nothing. So seed is no good by itself. It needs a host or ground, and then the responsibility yeah. of the farmer is to scatter. The word mm -hmm. says scatter. Mm -hmm. which means to cast, to throw, to place, or to yes. drop. Um, I love, he just, he throws it. Mm -hmm. He grabs a bag of seed and he scatters it. And he grabs a bag of seed and he scatters it. And he doesn't worry about where it falls. He just wants to make sure it's hitting good ground. Mm -hmm. So second, he continues with his life after the scattering of seed. Wow. He scatters the seed and then watch what he does. He goes to bed, he wakes up, he goes to work, and he doesn't worry about it. Nope. Now here, he, here, I don't know if this is where you're going, but he's trusting the soil to make the He's harvest. trusting the yes. earth. Or he's trusting the principle yes. of sowing and reaping. Yes. That's what he's trusting. Because he says, he goes to bed, mm -hmm. he wakes up, he goes about his day. Yeah. The seed sprouts and grows, but he does not understand how it happens. It is, we do not have to understand how seed does what seed does. Right. We just have to be the responsible, obedient farmers to go sow it. Yeah. To sow the seed of the word into somebody's yes. heart. To sow uh, financial seeds, to mm -hmm. sow food, okay? So, the seed does its job when it's in the ground. While it's in the ground, this is the first thing it does, it begins to sprout. In the sprout, it's still underground, so you don't see it. Mm -hmm. So, it's like the farmer, he throws the seed, the seed goes down in the ground, unless a grain of wheat mm -hmm. falls to the ground and dies, then it produces much fruit. So, the grain goes into the ground, and watch, it sprouts into the ground but he doesn't know it. Now, what, what we do here that is critical and crucial and could mm -hmm. be wrong is we go try to grow it up to see what it's doing and by going to, or excuse me, go to dig it up to see if the seed has sprouted. In doing so, we destroy the seed. Wow. How, what do you mean, Chris? All right, you sow seed into somebody's life and then you go over there and you're like, why are you doing what you're doing? And start bombarding them and start trying to beat them over the head with the Bible you're digging that seed up because you're trying to make manifest what the Holy Ghost is going to do because, or what the ground is supposed to do, okay? Mm -hmm. So he doesn't understand how, but the seed is doing, watch this, what the seed was designed to do. Come on. Can we just stop and look at this for a second? A little bitty seed hits the ground the nutrients from the ground get into the seed. Mm -hmm. Not the seed gets into the ground. The ground gets into the seed. The ground gets into the seed. So think about it. If you put, if you take Miracle Grow mm -hmm. and put it in a plant, the plant doesn't do anything to the Miracle Grow. The Miracle Grow does it to the plant. Yes. So the the, the nutrients of the soil is what makes that little seed sprout up. And once it sprouts, it's a beginning stage. Yeah. See, we're wanting so see, come on, harvest, harvest, harvest. Let's go. It's sprouting. Uh, but haven't we all been impatient? It's sprouting. Waiting on our harvest. So, okay. <laughs> Have you ever been impatient waiting on your harvest? So the ground has to do its job. Yes. That's why he says sow seed into good ground. Well, what about yes. sowing the seed of salvation into somebody that's lost? Is that good ground? Hold on. When Mom. you sow seed into lost soil, an individual, Mom. it's not up to you on whether or not, it's the Lord that changes the soil. Yes. For that seed to take, play, take, take root mm -hmm. and sprout and begin to grow. You just have to be faithful. You've got to be faithful to yes. sow the seed where God tells you to sow the seed. Amen. You cannot, hold on, let me say this real quick. Yeah. You can't, uh, you cannot, help the seed grow. You can't. 
There's so many of you that are just now jumping on. Share this, comment, help us boost the algorithm, put a ton of emojis out there. Help us spread this message of hope and truth. Keep going because okay. it's so often though, whether it's, you know, people are believing for salvation of someone, they're discipling someone, or they've sowed financial seed. They're waiting on that harvest mm -hmm. and they get impatient. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Mm -hmm. You've sown the seed. Yep. The seed sprouts and it says then all of a sudden it pushes out of the ground. Yep. Seed that stays buried mm -hmm. produces nothing. You have to push through your barriers. You understand that you are a seed. Yes. You are a seed planted on the earth that is the supposed to grow. Okay. Go said a while ago, well, you can't make the seed grow, but you and the seed in you grows through the reading of the word, through prayer, mm -hmm. through community, through relationship, and you begin to grow and push through. It says a blade. Mm -hmm. So it's like a blade comes up out of the ground. We were at um, Mark and Linda's house last Sunday and we went over there and preached and he drove us around Love those guys. and we were able to see the blades of the beans. And it's only a blade, the blade of the corn sticking out of the ground. We know it's corn because we planted corn. He planted corn and it's a corn stalk or a blade. Yeah. It's a bean. It's a blade. And the blade is coming up. And now all of a sudden he goes, there it is. I planted it. It's been bare for yeah, so long. Yeah. Now I'm seeing it take, now I'm seeing the seed do what the seed yes. is supposed to do. And it's pushing through. Well, Watch this. If you, being the seed planted in the earth, why are you still hidden? Come on. Now, is there a season to be hidden? Absolutely. Yes, yes. But once that hidden season is over and you have been matured, you've been watered, and the Holy Ghost has been, mm -hmm. oh, gosh, my nose. All of a sudden, you begin to sprout underground. When that blade, you've got to push through your boundaries, your barriers, yes. your comfortable well, things, so is. that yes. people see, whoa, something's growing mm -hmm. in here. Okay. Once it surface, surfaces, it begins to flourish. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you see a blade come up, and you're like, wow, there's a blade. And overnight, it's growing. I mean, mm -hmm. it takes growth quickly. Yes. Which is why the enemy tries to destroy you at the an early infancy stages. stage, the seed form mm -hmm. or the germination part and all of that. But then it blooms. Now this is key. You've got to watch it because some people may see it bloom and think it's harvest time and it's not harvest it's time. It's not ready. It looks good. It's mm -hmm. pretty. Praise God it's coming up, man. But you've got to let it develop. Yes. Okay? You can see it, but it's not ripe yet. It says, the farmer knows when the harvest is ripe. Mm -hmm. So we're still waiting mm -hmm. until it's ripe. The harvest or the farmer knows. I grew up on a farm with multiple gardens. And I don't mean a little garden in your backyard. I mean <laughs> acres. I how, remember how waking often, up. What were those peas? Black eyed peas. No, but they're part the purple. Purple hole peas. And he would he said that his fingers he You'd sit there he said and that we'd it was shuck. child abuse. We'd shut <laughs> purple hole peas hours is on Saturdays. You, is that, and your thumbs would be purple from so, shucking. So that. today children get to play video games, you got to shuck purple hole peas. Yeah, they need to be out <laughs> shucking peas. So also oh, corn. And I want to use corn them, corn as the them. example. Because corn was key. Mm -hmm. to knowing which corn to harvest. Yeah. Now, they're called ears. It's called an ear of corn. Okay? So. Corn is not my favorite. It's you have my to teeth. know which ear to pull and which ear not to mm -hmm. pull. Okay, you ready for this? So, we grow to know by sight which ear to pull. Yeah. How do we know which ear to pull? Well, my dad would pull the first ear. Okay. He would walk in and he would pull the first ear and say, this is what you need to be pulling. If it doesn't look like this, don't, don't pull, pull it. it. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I'm going to jump ahead and come back. Jesus, when he comes back, is looking for the ears of corn or the people that look like him Yes. Which is how he knows who to harvest. 
Are y'all listening to this? You need to rephrase that, re-put that again. Jesus, when yes. the Father sends him back, how does Jesus know? Because he's harvesting those mm -hmm. who look like him. That's how yes. he knows to pull them out. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, my dad would pull the first one, show us what it looked like. Mm -hmm. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for this. If it doesn't look like this, it doesn't get harvested. Okay. It either needs to continue to grow or something else. Do you have... Where did I put this? Because I want to make sure that I did it right. Okay. Do you have seed in the ground right now? Yes. We do. Let the seed yes. do its job. Amen. Now, I'm going to say something real quick. Can you be a hinderer of your seed? Yes. Can you hinder your seed's growth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you pull your seed up? Dig it up? Unfortunately, you can. Yeah. You need to put the seed where it needs to go and leave it. Yes. And let the seed do its job. Can I share this, the testimony that we got yesterday? Mm -hmm. um, there's a lady who's one of our partners. Um, I'm not going to give her name right now. I don't, she could be jumped on here already. I don't know. Or she definitely will watch the replay. She had been a um, partner, a monthly partner. She doubled her monthly partnership with this assignment. She felt like the Holy Spirit was telling her whatever she was giving to double. So she doubled her monthly giving. She received, I'm not Hold even on, the kidding. enemy messed with her and told her not to. Yeah, the enemy told her not said, to do it. said, don't do it, don't do it. And she did it anyway. And she received an increase. This is a legitimate check that came to her for $23,000 that should not have come to her. And she knows and contributes it to the seed that she sowed into Chris Works Ministries. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sitting there and Chris I'm reading God. this yesterday. Like this was last night, yesterday yeah. afternoon. There were so many testimonies. Did you get the testimony that I sent you? Oh, yeah, the guy in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, awesome. like, that's a whole other testimony. That's yeah. a testimony of salvation. So, you need to give that story too. Do you have it on your phone, real quick? Mm -hmm. Pull that up, real quick. Give that testimony after I finish this one. Um, because testimonies are constantly coming in to our ministry, and I just don't even have enough time to post them because we have prayer meetings and all these different things that we're doing with people that I don't have time to make a lot of my posts. Um, but so she received a twin, over $23,000 increase because of the seed that she sowed. Well, now, here's a testimony of salvation. It was the end of the service, and I saw this young man standing there. This was at a recent revival. He's a, I say he's a young man. I mean, he's probably in his 30s. Yeah. Um, and I called him out and just released the word of the Lord over him. His first name is Kurt. Yep. Yeah, and Kurt I released this word yeah. over him. Um, it said the first night he hadn't been church forever. He said he wasn't um, serving God. I gave my heart to God at 12 or 13, but hadn't really been doing it. He said, but you prophesied into me that night that God was going to fast track me. And I said, God is going to fast track you mm -hmm. in multiple different directions. He said, I didn't know that you were talking to me until, and then you said, no, I'm talking to you. God is about to fast track you into where you were mm -hmm. supposed to be, not where you are. Yes. He said, long story short, he said, there's God, more to the story. God has done a just a 180 degree turn in my life. He is now a drummer in the praise team. He said, I'm on fire like I've never been before in my life. Yes. And God is blessing me and my family like crazy. Yes. He said, I just want to thank you. Because he said, I, if you had not called me out, he He'd said, have stayed stuck. I'd have stayed stuck. Ooh, ooh. So the word of prophecy. To prophesy over your seed. The stirring of revival is like a tiller. Before the seeds even planted, because you were the tiller that went in there. Mm -hmm. And then that happened. Then you continued, because it was a multiple day revival. You planted that seed. Mm -hmm. Boom, there's the harvest. So watch. First thing, we got to sow seed, let it go in the ground, and leave it alone. Share Secondly, this. Secondly, don't get frustrated with... While you're waiting. While you're waiting. <laughs> when the blade comes out, it's not time mm -hmm. to harvest. You need to be patient, because mm -hmm. it's going to take time. Third, know what you're looking for. Yes. If it's ripe, it's ready. How will I know when it's ripe? The Holy Ghost will tell you. He'll tell you. If you pull it too early, it destroys the ear and it's no good. If you let it wait too long, it mm. dries up. Now watch this. 
Now it's only good for cows and pigs. Do you, watch Do this. Do y'all get this? What was supposed to be used for a harvest, for a harvest, human consumption, a blessing, is now being trampled under the hooves. Wow. Of the wild beasts mm -hmm. because we did not harvest correctly. Mm. Be patient, do your job, and yes. let the seed grow. <sighs> yes. And when the Holy let Ghost the says seed harvest, do its job. when the he'll let, yes. listen, the, the check will come in. Yes. Somebody will come up to you and and they because you sowed a seed, they'll walk up and they'll say, Hey, I'm ready. I need this right now. Yes. We got a phone call. Or not a phone call, it was a text message actually that Chris got oh, wow. from the dad of a student that we had had back in 2008. He was a spiritual son. And very, very close, very, very connected to our family. I'm not going to say what it is that he's doing because many people would know who it is. Long story short, the dad was saying to us, because there is a culmination of events that have taken place in this young man's life. He's now married with three children. Um, now I'm going to be four. Oh, they're pregnant? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Okay, so the seed that we sowed back in 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, is grown so great and so big. We've got lunch with them. They live in Alabama. He's We've got a lunch with them a, in the next couple weeks. Yeah, he, he, without saying what he does for a living. We're just going to have to. He's a brain He's surgeon. He's a brain surgeon. He is one of, the, one of the top people in a neurosurgeon area. And to be a brain surgeon God. and still be so grounded and rooted in his faith, his father <laughs> texted me and said, Chris, this is because if of it the hadn't have been so. for you, he yeah. said, you sow fruitful seeds into my son. And, and my him. son today is the man that he is because of a, because seed. you being a part. It wasn't yeah. just me. But you being a part of sowing into him at a young age and encouraging him. That he could do it. That he could do it. And I mean, he went through what? Got a lot of school. Seven years of residency after yes. four years of college. And then mm -hmm. another. I mean, he's... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think fifteen years. And he's done two two assignments overseas. Oh, he was in Vietnam for a year and Guam or something like that. I can't. Remember. I don't know. I think it was Africa. But don't Africa, get Vietnam don't get us don't anyway. quote us on but the Long the story short, that's fifteen years. Pretty much fifteen years of the seed growing. God. And there have been times when I've said here, guys, I'll just be honest, man. I've sat here and I've been like, Lord, I have sown and sown and sown. And I'm like, Lord, where is it? Yeah. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Where is the, the, the harvest on these thousands of dollars of seed sown <laughs> into good soil? Yes. And every time I do that, it's like the Lord just tells me, you know, the seed's doing its job. Yes. Let it do its job. Woo, Baba Kadi, and when it's da, da, time da, 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 for harvest, see. you'll Woo. pull in great abundance. There's somebody that has sown seed that is watching the live right now or that's watching the replay where you have sowed seed into your marriage. You have sowed seed into your children, yeah, into man. your prodigals. You have sowed financial seed. Yes. You've sowed seed into your job. You've sowed seed into your parents, into your siblings. And you've wondered, when is it going to come? Well, Galatians 6, 9 says, Do not grow weary in well-doing, for you will reap in due season if you do not grow faint. There's someone out there that's watching that has been about to grow faint. Mm. I want to encourage you, don't grow faint. Don't give up. Don't Amen. lose heart. Stay the course. Stay the ground. Don't listen to the lie of the enemy that it's never going to happen. That's the enemy. That's a lie of the enemy. It is going to happen. The victory is coming. You're going to reap the harvest. Amen. Don't go. Don't grow weary. Amen. <gasps> Let's pray for you. Father, we love yes. you. Yes. And Lord, oh, I just thank you for everyone watching right now. And Lord, thank you for giving us seed. Yes. Lord, we want to be faithful with our seed. Yes. We want to sow it into good soil. And Lord, we give it to you. 
So we let that seed die so that that seed will produce what it needs to. Yes. And Lord, we get to harvest that seed because you said whatever yes. a man sows, he shall also reap. So Lord, we harvest good seed into good soil yes. and we patiently with expectation wait on that blade to shoot up. Because once we mm. see the blade, God, we, we know it's coming. The, the, hope, the blade is hope. The blade of hope. Yes. God, I, I just I hear that right oh, now. That, that was good, Daddy. Father, Father, I pray that you show Jesus, your people a blade, blade of hope blade today. Blade of hope today. I call in a blade of hope blade over Davy and Faith and Grant and me in the yes. name of Jesus. I declare a blade of hope today over me and over everyone watching. And Lord, yes. that we'll see that blade. That blade will give us something. And Lord God, that yes. we're about to see a mighty harvest. Yes. And I declare it now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you um, have not become a partner with this kingdom assignment yet, then do so today. Ask Holy Spirit how you can partner with this. Go to our website, chrisbrooksministries.com. All of those details are there. As well as do us a favor. There, pray if you do not have a local church Pray about joining with us um, and having a place to plant your tithe. Amen. There's many people that have said they're in regions that they don't have a local church. We want to offer that to you. Those options are on our website as well. Um, all of that information is there. Faith is putting that information in the comments. So please let us know how we can partner with you in faith, um, believe with you, any prayer requests that you might have. Send all of that to us. And again, if you are currently an active partner, check your emails because the exclusive partner gathering is coming up July 23rd and 24th. Get your RSVPs. And our RSVPs are due. RSVP. <laughs> are due by the end of June. So you're not going to want to miss this. We're meeting with the caterers today. We have a lot going on. <laughs> so you're going to want to make sure Sure that you've got all that information. All right. We love you. We prayed for you. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it will not change you. We love you. Blessed. We'll see you in the morning. Bye.